Alright, alright, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 2 of the Borussia Dortmund FIFA 21 modded career mode. Thanks for the response on the first episode. And again, so you guys are knowing about this 100% because there were some people saying, oh, this is not real or something. Yeah, that, like in the title, it's a modded career mode. So this is on FIFA 20 and it's FIFA 21. So I did want to explain that. It's a yeah FIFA 21 mod, obviously with updated kits, background, and yeah a few little things in the game as well. So yeah, <laughs> it should be understandable. But now we get on to some details. Get more transfers in the comments. I want to get the realistic ones done first. So as I said, so we can feel like it's going to be FIFA 21 as much as we can at this point. So any other moves that Dortmund have made so far? Let us know up in the comments from players going to players joining. So, one of them, Thomas Munier, uh, in the comments, I saw him as one of the biggest, most thumbs up to bring in. And we better hurry up uh, because Hoffenheim have already approached him. So, yeah, lucky. Yeah, lucky we act pretty smart here. And, yeah, hopefully we get the deal done. Uh, the only thing, he looks like Ninja. But there's no Fortnite around here, and he's got normal hair. No colors seen around here. So, yeah, we're going to we're going to scout him, but get on the short list as what well. We can't really waste any time, to be fair. We can't let another team snipe him. Yeah, as you see, there's an ongoing transfer at the moment. So, yeah, we they could that could be agreed on the next day. So, yeah, we got to act smart. So, here we are. Yeah, manager rolling in with that jacket. <laughs> Absolutely love it. So, here we go. At a complete guess, I, re I really don't know his value. So, let's go around 16 mil. Is that a little bit lower? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Yeah, 16 mil. Shit, that got accepted. <laughs> How much is he worth? Uh, I guess we're going to find out. Like, that doesn't seem like a lot of money. He made a move to Dortmund in real life. Hey, we're not going to complain. Let's go in. I honestly thought we were going to have to spend more than that. Let's go. Here he is. So yeah, he's going to be the new signing. Thomas Munier. Let's see. Let's see. We just agree to him being an important, important squad player. Or well, squad role important. Let's see. The length of the contract at 20. See, he he's not a normal signing I go for. I think he's maybe like around 81 overall as well. So, I'm going to give him three years at 27, takes him to 30, and see see what he thinks. Because, yeah, I probably I wouldn't go for him in a normal career. But, yeah, just the fact of a realistic one, yeah, uh, to make this one go through. Yeah, no release clause. We agree there, mate. So, we're just going to accept. And see, yeah, it does give you this fresh and realistic feeling what FIFA 21 would be like. See, they might like ease up or like they might just get these little things in there in terms of changing the the color of the text see how it's like blue and stuff like that on the contracts and um, it says important three years and that yeah that's <laughs> those little things is more likely what we're gonna see so wage look that's that's nothing incredible like we can try and drop it a little bit see if he gets accepted drop that what the 55k signing bonus try and drop a little 420 yeah and clean sheets yeah we'll just submit that just lower it by a little bit and get that accepted okay it doesn't and then we'll agree we'll meet each other <laughs> he looks so like mad that you really didn't accept my offer yeah look <laughs> oh that's funny and then he's suddenly happy to accept that deal um yeah both parties both parties look like we agree and yeah happy happy with the deal so, yeah, there we are. And I think, yeah, there's fresh, like, updated, or it could be because of the background, but, like, the managers, yeah, you can see, like, the picture for the search players, and, yeah, like, where Transfer Hub is, it makes it look a bit more fresh, like a different image there. So then we go right down, Mounier. See, he's a perfect signing because he can play that right midfield. There he is, 81 overall. So I think for 16 million, yeah, that's fair enough. And maybe, yeah, it's, it's, it's right on the money, I feel. I like him being not that slow. I'm not going to say he's pacey at 81 sprint speed, but that's not slow. That's enough with 85 strength. Um, stamina of 92. So he can go all day down that right side and he's a good balance with his attacking attribute and defensive. And then, yeah, we talked about Hakimi. 
He's obviously moved to Inter now. So, yeah, we will release him from the contract. As he is only on loan anyway, of course. So, he never would have been a permanent player at Dortmund. Like, oh, a great player for the future. So, yeah, terminate the loan, as I said. Just about realism. Yeah, 660k is nothing, yeah, too extravagant. So, yeah, any other deals that have been confirmed, please let me know. Out of the current squad, if any of these guys have left or... Yeah, any other players that have been confirmed to sign, let us know, and we'll look to make those moves. Uh, another one said to get a young keeper. Yeah, Roman, he's 28, so I feel he's good. 85 are all solid keeper, so I feel, and he got hits as a backup, he's 31. But, yeah, to look at a younger keeper, do you have suggestions? Let us know. But I don't think we need to worry for the next season or two anyway. Or we get someone, you know, now, so he's going to be ready to overtake him. But yeah, give me your ideas or have a quick of a search like who's yeah who's the best options. Well, you see what that does to the budget. We've got a pretty handy wage, to be honest. So we could go alter that a little bit more. So yeah, 50, 50 million to that, yeah, 291. Yeah, that's probably a good fit. And I swear, guys, this honestly feels like it would be FIFA 21. Because this is our every year, what it's like. There's no real new major features. They just refresh the skin a little bit. And seriously, if FIFA 21 did drop, like say it already dropped, this is what it would feel. <laughs> Unless, you know, there's surprise features. But like this year, <laughs> it's the same feeling from FIFA 19 to FIFA 20, you know. That's what it's feeling this way to me <laughs> right now. I'm not sure if you guys are the same while watching it. But there you go. Yeah, we win the race. I like how the other team who was making an offer just completely, yeah, <laughs> they disappeared. He did not consider their offer whatsoever. So, yeah, young Thomas. Yeah, he's young. He's 27. But <laughs> it's, I say he's young. Not that young, of course. I just call players young, <laughs> like a manager would, an older manager. Keeper C, I think Andre Lunin, he's a perfect candidate. He's on loan at the moment, so we can't sign him. Obviously, at Real Madrid, I think... Yeah, he, he's one to go for because he's got good potential, aware of him. He's a good young talent keeper. And yeah, it'll be perfect to... We don't need him now. We don't need him right now. And it'll take a couple seasons to develop. So yeah, our current keeper, as I said. Yeah, Burki, he is, he, he is a good age. He's 28 to be good for the next couple seasons to allow a younger guy to come through. Uh, yeah, I think that's really perfect timing. Uh, and on that, where well, we are on to the fifth now. So I reckon that's good enough to add a... Yeah, what do you guys feel on the youth players? How heavy do you want me to go on that? Do we go with one and maybe get a few in every single season to the first team? While they're in the youth academy, of course, and upgrade them? Because I don't want to overload. How do you guys view in FIFA series? Do you like seeing a lot of youth players? Or do you like seeing the more real players in the team? Let us know. And yeah, so I can play it that way. But for now, I like to think a realism sake would be to scout Germany. Just do it for nine months and yeah, leave it there. Because it's, you know, it'd be a bit realistic to see young German players coming through the team. And, yeah, to secure the future of the club. Of course, with talents. But, yeah, how do you view them in series? I know some people do Youth Academy series. But, yeah, because I feel like if you want to see that, you'll probably be watching those series. But one like this, you start with Dortmund. Yeah, how heavy do you want me to go with the youth players? And then on terms of the players of the quality and their ability and future at the club, for me, Mario Goetze, I feel 80 overall. 69 sprint speed in attack. I don't think we're going to use him effectively. If I was to use him, probably drop him down to center mid, use his technical ability. He's one who might transfer list and try and replace him. Right now, we have him there, and like he's just going to stay in the reserves. I feel we've got better players in his place. Like Brandt, I feel, probably should be starting. So right now, we're just going to fresh up legs a little bit. Uh, Sancho to come off, Witzel as well. Uh, Dahu can come in. Uh, Hommels will drop for another center back. Who else? Have we got there? Maybe give a younger lad a chance. Bellerdi. How how old is he? How old is he? 20. I don't know how good he can get, but 20 at 68. I think he can at least get high 70s, if not mid, and then, you know, become decent enough to sell. So, yeah, just freshen up. Freshen up for this friendly game. Again, uh, essentially a friendly game against Arsenal preseason. Uh, we will simulate through these, or it'll take a few episodes <laughs> to get into the season proper. 
I think it's yeah best to simulate it and then yeah finish up our transfers and we can start start the season next episode. So watch out for that. Then for the next game, Harland is look. We don't want an injury. Like at this point, do we need another striker? I feel we do, man. We need an like Gertz. We need a a proper number nine. Like obviously Harland, he's big, like six foot four. But I mean, like he's incredible. He's gonna get better. But I feel we need maybe a good like Royce. See, he I reckon that's a great position for him there. Even though he's a cam center forward, yeah, I like that. What would you say that is in for me? That's like an inside forward role. Like, that'll be left forward in FIFA. Yeah, left forward, left forwards, and right forward. I like that. I like that role, or that position, to be fair. But anyway, we need a striker. And another one that was suggested, Havertz. I think he's a fantastic player, but I think he has to be, yeah, put back a little bit in terms of the position. In terms of position we need, we can't play him as a backup striker to Haaland. See, we got, we got coverage in centre mid. See, look at that. We got Brandt again. He's probably going to start ahead of Chan. Uh, but we need literally a strike. What if Haaland gets injury? Like, we don't want him to get an injury. But what is if he does? Or just to rotate? Who do you put in? A 69 sprint seed Mario Goetze? He's literally the only other attacking option. You see, center forward with that blue. The blue dot. No one else is at all. That's madness. So now just sim the game against Lazio. See how the lads go out there. Try and pick up a win here. We do that 2-0. Neat. So as we talk about Belodi, I think we will try and yeah, train up his defensive attributes. Even if he doesn't become good enough, get him as good as he can. So yeah, you sell him for most profit as possible. So hey, he's, he's listening. He's listening. He gets an A with a kanji. Yeah, we got Zagadu, a kanji, Belodi defensive training he had a promising debut as well Munier. day we, i don't treat preseason as debuts though but still yeah he's he's a new he's our new man he's our new man we bring in see what i mean here we could easily nab a german a german scout a german youth scout at a second but if we are yeah lo, we're, we're sending out a second scout you're sending out two there's a good chance you're probably yeah getting in a lot of of youth players and I just wonder yeah we don't want our whole first team to be filled up with those it'll be good to have yeah maybe two or three each season promoted to the first team in a more realistic fashion opposed to getting like seven or eight and it's a bit too much so then the match against Atalanta this should be this should be a victory we're stronger than them stronger than them. one nil for oh, Darun missed the penalty and hey, Mounier scores as well he's happy with that Mounier or well, he would be happy with that yeah, getting the prize money, that's always good. And that's a trend we're starting to see with Tottenham now. You have to go over. It's interesting, yeah, how it looks blue. And then when you hover over it, it's white. That's a bit of a mind... F you know what I was going to say. I suppose also I should utilize any Scout of Future Stars I have left. Mm, yeah, I might as well. What have I got? This one, two... I might as, yeah, I might as well use them. Yeah, we'll use them here. And this is a feature. Well, not exactly a feature. When you, you know, pre-order FIFA 21, yeah? When you get a free one of these. Like, this feels free. Because I always have enough in the catalogue. So, like... Is that really worth paying extra? I think, like, for the Ultimate Edition or whatever. But there you go. I wouldn't pay just for that. But let's see how the lads go in the final. Come on, get the best. Get the best of... Tottenham here. They got some decent results so far. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Miss on penalties, lads. Like, why are you clapping? Like, you don't clap for losing on a pen shoot. <laughs> Damn, man. But the way the board see it, they say congratulations on reaching the final. Going deep, they're not, yeah, they're not disappointed. Yeah, gave us great exposure. So it was really cool that we got to expose ourselves there. That sounds a bit sus, but anyway, you get the points. The next game, yeah, Super Cup, that's against Bayern. That'll be a good way to kick things off. Uh, well, for the season to really 
you know, get a, a proper a proper competitive game and see where we're at. Anyway, guys, with Havertz, he's going to, at a minimum, probably around 60 million, 60 to 70. Yeah, he's going to cost a real lot. So we couldn't actually afford him right now regardless. So even you say sign him, we can't at the moment with that. We would need to make a big sale. It would have to be Sanchez going out and then we sign him. So Richarlison, though, is the target. And actually, he once said that that would be his next move. He said this in Portuguese. Primeiro, eu penso em fazer história aqui no Atlético, né? Claro. E depois, quem sabe, ir para um Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund. What do you make of that? To me, that a really realistic signing. He would have to have Dortmund in his mind to say that. And what he said translated. Just so you know, to English, first I want to write history here at Watford, then who knows, go to Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's what he literally said. That's, it says a lot that he specifically mentioned Dortmund. So, we click on him, 27 mil to 39, maybe get him in, what, lower to mid 30s? And I absolutely love him as a player, let me know how you rate him. I think he's fantastic to sign at 22 years old. Not a younger guy with potential exactly, even though he does have potential. It's a, he's a good first team ability. If you just see off his attributes, we know how good he is. Yeah, I wanted to get him as soon as we could, not just waiting for his overall to show up. So here we go. So here we are. Ricarlo making a decision. So offer a transfer fee. I reckon we're gonna start this. Let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. What am I going to do? I'm going to do it at his value. We'll talk about it in a second. <laughs> we'll see what comes from it first. 23 mil. Okay, yeah. We're going to negotiate it. Yeah, no salon clause or anything like that. Now, we'll keep in mind the base of the... Yeah, what I said. So, of what they were wanting. Let's go 28. Let's try and negotiate this. That's 5 million above his current value. Ooh, alright. As I said, we might need to go, you know, the lower, lower 30s. 32 mil. 32 mil. Yeah, surely got to go close here. 32 million. There we go. You love a good negotiation. It was a bit hard. He doesn't... He didn't even want to shake hands. He wasn't... Oh, mate, how quick did he actually leave? He left as quick, like he was just done. He, he, he got done and he left. No, you're not sticking around. <laughs> oh, he's just there for the business and then he's off. Oh, they're stall. Yeah, they're stalling. They're stalling. We got a bit excited. He's going to have to go think about it. All right, mate. Carlo, he's, he's an interesting one to negotiate with. I'll tell you that for sure. So if we just continue... There we go. She, uh, he just okay. The opposite. He does. He's not patient. He wants to. Let's negotiate, mate. Couldn't we just negotiate there? It took you to. You took. It took you a day to come back with what you were ready. It part two. It's fucking part two here. All right. We'll go thirty-five. Thirty-five million. Twelve mil above his value, lads. Not to play hardball. There you go. Yeah, I reckon he had another transfer in mind and he needed a couple more million to finalize the deal. He's a smart boy. See, that's... A, yeah, that's... I thought the initial reaction, yeah, wasn't correct after a deal gets accepted. It's because, mate, it wasn't accepted. So, let's go into the contract offer. Alright, his role at the club. I think we'll say important. We'll say important here. He agrees. They were hoping for that. Now, 22, when someone is at least 24 years old or younger, we go five years. Try and get him on a five-year contract. You know, he's taken that in. He's taken in the info, discussing with his agent. And they were after that, exactly what we were after. He isn't on too much wage, so I think he, yeah, he should be pretty easy to get in. No release clause. Yeah, uh, to get that like that is perfect. But even when they do, you can just choose to put yeah you say you don't want one in and then they don't disagree with that 
So yeah, he looks pretty happy, I'm not going to lie. Look at that smile. It's what they do every single time, though. Anyway, we're going to try and get him on a wage of 80. 80k, then a signing bonus that he probably would like for, yeah, 80, and then 400. Not a bad, not a bad mix, I'd say. How about that? You may have got him a little bit cheaper, but off his current wage, yeah, happy with that. Uh, yeah, easy as we like, guys. Top player. And so at least, Haaland has some competition now. You got Richarlison in there, gets handed the number nine. It's good, yeah, we give a striker number nine. I know he's number seven. We got Sancho number seven, but yeah, that should fit in very well. So what do you think we should do? Goetz is running out of his contract in 12 months. Again, I don't feel I'm going to use him efficiently. I reckon we get him on the transfer list. With his contract expiring, I think they are intent on letting him go. So, yeah, we will add him to the transfer list, try and get something for him. Then just a few of these guys here, we're going through to get him on the loan. Just put him on for a loan. We'll see a few of them back here. I don't know how good he's going to get. His contract is running out as well. So, yeah, add him to the list. Just, yeah, again, lowers the amount of players in the first team for now. Got a couple of the goalkeepers loaned. I think, I reckon Eric will leave him. He's 23, 65, but as I said, that keeper we were targeting, Lunin, it will be perfect to bring in. Then, of course, Giovanni Reina. We can, at 16, at 66 overall, train him a lot, use him in the first team a lot. He'll have very good development. And even Smeltzer, he's 30. He's not going to be getting any better, really. Let's... Yeah, transfer list him. We're not using left backs. I don't think he'd be efficient push him up the left mid. So, yeah, <laughs> we're going hard with these. Of course, another is Pizcek, but we probably can't get much for him at 34 value going down. I'd say, yeah, an experienced player, obviously, been at Dortmund for years. I reckon you play him at center back later in his career. He's still got that strong defensive ability. And, yeah, use him in that role as a leader and help yeah, develop those younger lads because that's totally a feature in FIFA. So, all right, that means we head in with another training session. Akanji is probably, yeah, he's going to be starting like all games. Zagadou, yeah, he needs to grow a little bit more the interception of defensive awareness. They're close though, I'm not going to lie, but Akanji, yeah, he's going to be starting probably all games. Yeah, Hummels is just, Akanji's probably going to partner him. Zagadou, we rotate in. So, we go to the strikers and Richarlison. We just signed him, but he can he's got good potential. Yeah, so if you take a look at these attributes, there's a few. Yeah, we want to... Oh, they can get up a little bit more. How about speed shooting? His sprint speed is already 86, so that where we are really content with that. So, back to, yeah, the adept, uh, adept attacking scenarios. Get that passing up a little bit to 80, so we can almost... Yeah, always make sure he makes a good pass, doesn't give away possession. Finishing get up. I want to get those 80s to the mid. Yeah, from low 80s to mid 80s will be nice. So there we go. And let's see how they simulate those in training. Not too bad. Zagadu still stands out. Richarlison B though, not bad. But yeah, there's the presentation of the new striker, Richarlison, who once said he wanted to play for Dortmund. He's finally made that move. Big signing. Now let's... Ooh, lot. A lot came in there. Loner, ah, oh, look, I don't, he's too good to be loaned out. It's not, he's not like he's an amazing player or whatever, but he's solid. He's not a loan out player. So, no. So, yeah, we finally get the report back for Lunin as well. Yeah, see, he's 75 overall. We wouldn't want him for this season anyway. We think about he gets a good season out on loan, and then we sign him next season from Real. And of course, in between, you guys could have other suggestions as well if you don't agree with that transfer. But I know, yeah, he should grow pretty well. And look at that, Smeltzer. I haven't been all that keen to play here. He wants to leave. Glad we're aligned. And yeah, we'll just say glad we're aligned. That always makes him happier. So we just go through that. Makes it easy and improves their morale for now. Yeah, I can tell we're going to get all these chances right now. So yeah, Mario Goethe... You know, if we can get, like, even just this offer, I'd be pretty content with. But it says in between 12 and 18. If we get 18, I'd be laughing. So there we go. See Jose in the game. He, he looks a bit, you know. <laughs> what can we say? 
Propose a new fee. We're going to try... 19. Because we're trying to gun to get that 18 accepted. 19 probably won't be. Yeah, exactly. You want him, but they don't want to pay more. Let's go on the counter. Remove the salon claws. And yeah, 18 was... Yeah, that's within the amount. That's within the amount of his value. Market value. Negotiation King. Tell you guys <laughs> to get the most as we probably could for him. There you go. See you later, Jose. But see, yeah, it's still not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough to get the man we really do want. Because he is an absolute superstar in Kai Havertz. I want to bring him in. 100%. 100%. But we probably need to sell Sancho. You, you don't say that... Generally, you wouldn't say that with a lot of confidence. So, arguably, your best player. But it's the fact of the realism. Because we've got to accept... He probably is leaving in real life. Ooh, how about that? Leipzig sign Gabriel Jesus. 48 million. We're going to be coming up against him this season. That's going to be interesting. Oh, yes. Yeah, Smelter, Goetze. Yep, Spurs. We already negotiated that. Yeah, they're both 4 million. What do you really expect from him? And that, yeah, that's those are actually pretty good offers. Not gonna waste that. Let's accept both because you don't know one may not, yeah, go through. So we'll just accept both for four million there. <laughs> I'm laughing to be. I know he got a release clause. They may not want to pay that. <laughs> yeah, a couple million extra for a guy we tried to list at 31, a little bit, a little bit above his value, a little bit above his value, 300k more. Yeah completely fine with that then another training session not bad you get a few bees there and smell oh there you go crystal palace maybe hope crystal palace yeah he chooses them it would be nice <laughs> but yeah overall there's not too much difference we're just happy he's gonna go out oh whoa here we go go to yeah really happy with that we get 15 million to the transfer budget Sancho, it's Everton, well, at least it takes him to the Premier League. Everton have that money because we, we could have just done a, we could have just done a, a bloody swap deal. It's going to go the long way around. Look at this, they, they broke down some, I told you guys. That's Monaco and that's Aston Villa. He might go out to Crystal Palace then. So it's, who knows? Gosh. Guys. Because we can't choose who makes the offer. See, he, he's even got a release clause in there. <laughs> what if we negotiate for them to pay more than the release clause? They'll be mad. This would take him at least going to England. Again, I can't believe I'm happy about selling him and considering it. It's because, yeah, I'm, I'm prioritizing the realism of it. So, as I said, maybe more realistic goes to Manchester United. But the fact of... Him going back to England makes it a maybe even better chance some point in this career he will be at one of those bigger clubs in England. So obviously it's easy to get excited about that big fee. It could be yeah, potentially be. We're gonna try We're gonna try 80 85. I can't expect them to go too high for him. Let's see. 85 mil? Look at that. Goes down to 43. I swear. And I want to try something, actually. Let's do, you know, a little bit above what they were offering. 78. That's below his market value. 78. And then they go, like, that's a no for me, then. I'm sorry, that's a no. Let's wait for a bigger club in England. Not a pissant team. Seriously. Below... His minimum market value. We're not going to do that, mate. As I said, there could be more... Yeah, there could be more information or more offers on him. But there we go. Another track. That one isn't too bad. <laughs> or not too great. Just C's and D's. And Smelter sold. Yeah, look at the positives. See, got look at that. We offered that negotiation. They dropped their offer so much. I reckon they wouldn't have been able... That's my opinion. 
Everton wouldn't been able to afford it, so their negotiation is what they could afford, the actual money in their bank, or then it would have fell through. Do you guys agree with that? So it wouldn't have gone through anyway, even if we accepted the initial offer. <laughs> Look how low they came back to return. So yeah, smelts are sold. And there we go, a loan offer. As you saw, he was the one, Kamal. Uh, yeah, 59 overall, probably won't become good enough. Just accept that. Right. There's another one. He's a wanted man. <laughs> yeah. There you go, accept. But all right, we continue. We should get the youth scout back. Yeah, the scout has returned. We'll take a look. Yeah, Piz Jet, we'll talk on that. We'll see. Oh, Velalba. Avaristo Velalba. Ooh, right mid. Nice. Argentinian. <laughs> Could he be a Messi? We don't know. He comes up with potential of 82 to 94. Wow, should be super pacey. Wow. He looks nice. Oh, no, that will be promote to senior team. Yeah, because he's not... Yeah, normal scout. Yeah, just leave him in the U squad for now. Oh, he's a nice talent. Yeah, 100% happy with getting that now, uh, for sure. So, rate that, rate that. So, yeah, U squad, Martha Report, he'll be the same. Piz check. We're not going to accept this. The value on that transfer, I feel he's going to show a lot more worth than 4.5 million throughout the whole season. That's really peanuts. It's not, what we're going to be able to do with that money won't be worth letting go of Pizcek. Hopefully, yeah, you feel my opinion on that. Just the fact, what are we going to do with that money that we're going to get for him? I feel, yeah, he's value for that. So, we're going to reject that. There's not, like, what's the point in selling him for that much? Versus how much we'll use him and what he'll do for the season. As I said, as an experienced defender. All right, yeah, there we go. Monthly scouting update is in right now. So, Buffon, yeah, he eventually loaned out. Now, let's see who we get. Any of these guys decent? Ooh, Nils. We'll, we'll go through the rest. We'll go through them all and see if any are decent. We'll take a look at them. None of them are that great. Yeah, none of them are that great, to be honest. We're going to reject them all. We're going to reject them all apart from Nils. Because he's got the maximum 94. Minimum of 74 is not too bad. So we sign him up, reject the rest. They won't yeah, get good enough updates. So we continue one more day before we round things up for this episode. Yep, yeah, there's no, yeah, no other transfer information, messages, all of that. So the Super Cup against Bayern, because this episode has been pretty long already with the negotiations, all that stuff. Let me know what you thought of the transfer. So we start... The next episode, you want to see that, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up, leave a like on the video. If you've been enjoying this so far, excited for this next episode, make sure you do. As you see, look at these signings. Robertson, we're going to have to come up against him. Yeah, very, very interesting. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you guys next time.